Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we'll be taking a look at Nendoroid 1657 Ruka Sarashina. Ruka is a character from the series Rent a Girlfriend, a trashy, downright terrible anime that I happen to love. Yes, it's bad, and yes, it gets worse from what I hear, but hey, sometimes that's life. Ruka is best girl, according to the fans, wrong, but I do actually like the hook of this character. It would be an adorable story if it weren't for the fact that she is a cuck. She loves our main character boy because he makes her heart race, something that no one has been able to do and something that is actually quite sad for her backstory. She has a medical condition that softens the character's intentions and really makes me care for her. Anyway, this video was originally supposed to release on Valentine's Day, but we all know how that went. So today is the day. Taking a look at the box and it's meh. Getting the figure out of the box and I have mixed feelings. There's not that many accessories, although the ones she does come with are really expressive. Taking a closer look at the figure, and wow, she is absolutely stunning. Genuinely, this is one of the cutest Nendoroids I own. The fit is on point, the airbrush painting on the hair is spectacular, and the translation from anime to figure is great. I especially love the eyes and unique color at the tips of her hair. Moving on to her expressions, and this is where she steals the show. All three of these expressions are great. She comes packaged with an adorable open mouth smile, and this is anime eyes perfected. Her second expression is a pouty, tongue out, teasing face that unfortunately, I find really cute. Her third and final expression is an embarrassed, nervous, my heartbeat is racing face. And this, this is my favorite. Moving on to her accessories, and like I said, not too much, but actually, now that it's all laid out in front of her, I think it's the perfect amount for this character. Because this Nendoroid is not super poseable, she comes with various arms and shoulder pieces to achieve a variety of poses. She comes packaged with straight arms and narrow shoulders, but she also comes with bent arms and wide shoulder pieces. Any combination of these will help to create a more natural looking pose. Moving on to her hands, and she comes packaged with these open hands, standard for Nendoroids, but never unappreciated. She also comes with these open hands. They look really similar to the first ones, except they're more... anime-y, I guess? Like, the hand looks like AI created it. The box shows that these hands are for this pose. I don't know. Moving on, and she also comes with a phone holding left hand that can hold this phone. It is a pink iPhone and the sculpt is really nice. I feel like sometimes with Nendoroid accessories it is hard to pick out details, but this is obviously an iPhone. Nothing on the screen, but I guess that means you can put whatever you want there. Did you eat? Lama ask you again. Her last hand is a purse holding left hand that can hold this purse. For a slice of life love anime, I love that this accessory was included. These types of accessories help to tell a story, and I think that is what makes photography so fun. My only complaint is that she can't hold both the phone and purse at the same time since they are both left hand accessories. Moving down, and her most expressive accessory comes in the form of a swappable lower half where her legs are pre-posed in a sitting position. This is Ruka at home, being cute as ever. and. I am embarrassed to say how much I like this. And those are all of her physical accessories, but when opening the figure, if we take a look at this note right here, we will find a large transparent plastic piece that shows us her heart rate spiking. This can be propped up with this included stand piece, which leads into the final standard accessory of a Nendoroid, which is the Nendoroid base and support arm, as well as an extra neck peg in case yours breaks. I think this accessory is great as well and really gives the character shelf presence. I think that while there are not a ton of accessories, all of the ones that are included do the character justice. In conclusion, I like this figure. It did everything I wanted it to and represents Ruka really well. Again, my only complaint really is that she can't use all of her accessories at the same time. 
And that's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy this review, please consider subscribing, liking, or even commenting. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.